In this video, we'll look at how to conduct an F test for a hypothesis test of two population variances in the TI-89 titanium. If you're on the home screen, then click Apps and go to the Stats List Editor. Here we'll need to go into the F6 menu, so click Second, F1, and we scroll down until we find the 2SAMP F test. We have to choose whether we want to use statistics or data. If you have the whole data set for both of your samples, then you would choose data and you would enter the data in lists. I don't. I have summary statistics, so we'll choose that. Click OK. If we're conducting a two-tailed test, we put the larger of the two samples standard deviations in the first group. So I'm looking at a test where we have in the first sample four sales reps who have a standard deviation of $11,000 in their sales and a second territory that has five sales reps with a standard deviation of 10,500. And we want to know if they have equal variance. So I'll enter the larger of the two standard deviations, which was 11,000, and that one had a sample size of four. The next sample, the, lar the smaller standard deviation was 10,500 with five sales reps. I'm running a two-tailed hypothesis test. I could run a greater than hypothesis test. We typically would only run a two-tailed or a greater than, in which case you would make sure that the uh, item that's in group one has the larger variance when you run that test. And we calculate. We get the output of an F test statistic is 1.0975 and a p-value of 0.89. If we were running this test at a 5% level of significance, then we would fail to reject the null because p-value is much larger than alpha. One thing we don't get with this output is the f-critical, and sometimes you need to know the f-critical because the other decision rule is reject the null if f-test statistic is larger than f-critical. We can find the inverse F function to get an F critical value by going to the distribution menu, which is F5, scroll to inverse, and then go to inverse F. TI calculators always expect us to enter area to the left. This is a two-tailed test at a significance level of 5%. That means 2.5% of areas in the upper tail. If we want to know that upper tail F critical value, we'll take 1 minus the area to the right of it, which will give us 0.975 as the area to the left of it. Our numerator degrees of freedom is the N minus 1 from the sample which had larger sample standard deviation. That was the 4 sales rep sample. N minus 1 gives us 3 and the other sample had five sales reps, n minus one gives us four. Click OK, or enter rather, to calculate, and we get an inverse f of 9.9792. If we found an f test statistic, which was larger than this, we would reject the null, and we would conclude that the two variances are not equal. However, our f test statistic was much smaller than this, so we will fail to reject the null. And that's how we would conduct a hypothesis test for two population variances using the TI-89 titanium, using the F test function, and also finding inverse F if we wanted the F critical value.